to make the movie you can use iMovie if you're using a Mac but I'm using Windows Movie Maker on my laptop. Go to File, Import Media Items, locate your folder and import your images. Click Import and here they are. Set the time length for each image. To do so, go to Tools, Options, the Options dialog box opens. Go to the Picture Duration and scroll down until you find 0 0.125 seconds. Hit OK. Setting the time to 0 0.125 seconds for each image means you will have 8 photos for every second. That's why you need a lot of photographs. Moving the images to the timeline, select the images and with the mouse left button drag them to the timeline. Each image now appears on the timeline with a time of 0 0.125 seconds. To add a title to the beginning of your movie, select Titles and Credits, select Title at the beginning, enter the text for the title, change the text font and colour I like Euro style so I'll select that and the colour I like black select that and that's a preview of it I'm happy with that select Add Title. It is automatically placed at the beginning of the movie. To add a title at the end, select Titles and Credits. Credits at the end and just if you had a production team you could enter that in here but all I'm going to do is write the end. Uh, change the text font and colour it's all set up Euro style and the background is black and just hit add title and there it is to export your movie go to file publish movie there are different options here you can publish your movie to this computer, DVD, recordable CD, email, digital video camera. I'm going to select email because I want to put this on my blog so and it will be quite small in size. Click on it, select next and it's now publishing your movie. Save a copy of my movie on my computer. Select that. Give it a location. Give it a name. <coughs> Select save and I'm not attaching it to an email so I'm just going to cancel. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial. If you need any extra help or want to make a comment feel free to do so.